out for blood this time. Let's go. It is a sound like no other when they raise that 12th man flag here in Seattle, and we just heard it, and that means it's time for football at Lumen Field. Tonight, Week 15 begins with a great Thursday night matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. the kicker Jason Myers to get this one started and off we go from Seattle and that one bounces out of the back of the end zone so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. These two teams, they met up in Seattle earlier in the year with the Seahawks coming away victorious. So a win here in Seattle, tough as that may be, would give them the season sweep. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Throwing here, Purdy. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards there and a Niner first. It's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time he uses quickness to make a play. Right back to Mitchell on second down. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Purdy from the gun on third down. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? It's a, Who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? The guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. After the sack on first down, Purdy. And the pressure gets to him again. 
Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. We had a pretty good idea that they were going to pressure this young quarterback, and that's now two sacks here in the first quarter. And yeah, this is a secret to exactly nobody, because if you're a rookie quarterback, you know you're going to see pressure. Defense is one of them. Tries to hit Jennings, and it's intercepted. Jordan Brooks with it. And the Seahawks are going to take possession of the football. Well, it's no secret he's had trouble this year with interceptions, and this is a bad start for him. First drive, throwing another pick. No matter who's broadcasting his game, that's how the conversation begins. Throwing too many interceptions. Hey. Can he take care of the football? If I were his backup, I'd be edging towards the coaches and saying, hey, how about giving me an opportunity? After the interception, here's Smith. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. DK Metcalf, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Seahawks use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Myers connects on the PAT, and it's now a 7 0 game. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. The last run got six, now second and four. Here's Purdy. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. And he'll get this to the 32. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Hey. On second and seven, Purdy. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Coleman. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Still in the first quarter, but what a great start for them. I mean, they controlled the airways, Charles, on both sides. They had the passing touchdown. Then they intercept the pass of the other squad and take it back for another score. And I know we have a ton of time left, but what an early back record they just delivered. And they appear to be totally dialed in. And that offense, they're forced to run right back out. Still shaking up a bit, but feeling the pressure to put something on the scoreboard. They've got to be careful here. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They are back over the 500 mark for the season. Got there with a win a week ago, their second straight victory. But well, they've definitely gotten better as this season has gone along. And from what I can tell, they know their roles. Everyone understands how they fit offensively, defensively. And this team now has an identity, and they're playing to it and playing well. Looking to throw again on second down. Purdy. That ball caught. Brandon Ayuk. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 23 yards the pick up there. 
And that's a nice throw right there. And I'll tell you what I've seen in recent times and actually watched a presentation in the offseason from a college offensive coordinator showed about 10 different drills that he runs with his quarterbacks to show them how to get out of the pocket, how to get comfortable when they're doing so, and to make plays under that type of duress. That's an example of what we're seeing the colleges deliver to the NFL. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. On second and 11 now. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Ochina Nuosu, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. They were in the top five in sacks in the league coming into this one. That's their third one in this game. Obviously, pass rush has been a strength of this team all year long. And apparently, they're not satisfied with top five. They want to climb that ladder. Yeah, I think it goes back to their offseason. They decided to make it a priority, and it's working out. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before, almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, it really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. Back deep for the Seahawks, Tyler Lockett. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy here we go, here after we that. Go. One. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Get it. Receiver in motion left. Hurt, hurt. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. From the end zone, Smith. Man open downfield, it's Metcalf. He's at the 40. The 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. DK Metcalf. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point up and through by Myers. And it's now 21 to nothing. the touchdown here's Myers to boot it away and this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line the 49er offense set to get this drive underway they're riding a two-game winning streak into this Thursday nighter. How easy is it when you're on a roll to stay on? Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B. One starts with an S. Ball security. And they preach it. 
They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Catch is made by Metcalf. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not go, resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. Walker is in. Touchdown, Seattle. Just power football there, down near the goal line. Give it to him, he's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Now Myers for the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. set to get this drive underway. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Purdy looking to throw. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. And this is caught, Jennings. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try to put some points on the board. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. A give up the middle to Dobbins. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. Second and six. Play action. Now Purdy. 
And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. When you're a capable runner, oftentimes your quarterback coach, the offensive coordinator, they love to see you break the pocket and go ahead and take off. I think he could have gotten vertical and picked up something there. Instead, he pushed it downfield incomplete. Purdy with it on third and long. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Purdy on fourth down. Pass the 20. And he is going to have a 49ers first down on what will be a big play there on fourth and long. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. They'll run up the gut with Dobbins. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. And that's a gain of six on the first down run. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Here we go. Here we go. On second down and four, Purdy. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half. But the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them up the score right here. The Niners on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and four. Back to throw, Purdy. Touchdown, 49ers! Tyler Croft from four yards out. And the 49ers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. He's got it to bring it back to 28-7 now. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And listen, these Thursday night games, they're tough on the body. You just played on Sunday, 72 hours later. Hey, it's game day again. But I have to think a Thursday night game in September much more preferable than a Thursday nighter in December, no? Well, there's no doubt about it. You mentioned how tough it is on the body. How about the mind? You're already tired, fatigued, right? Trying to battle for playoff spots. And here you have the quick turnaround. Now, the flip side is if you take care of business, win that Thursday nighter, you go into a mini open week. Gives you a few extra days to heal up the body and the mind before you play your next game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Three, three. Hey, smash Bronco. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Come on, come on. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. They'll send a big tight end in motion right. Ready. They'll try the air now with Smith. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. 
picked by Emmanuel Mosley. And the Niners are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. This defense had three interceptions last week. They're on pace for more than that here, two in the first half. Do not adjust your set. This is not instant now. replay. <laughs> this is a defense that is locked in. They're essentially running the routes for the receivers and turning into the receivers themselves, aren't they? I mean, it is amazing what I'm seeing because the reactions of those guys back on the back seven, phenomenal. Throwing on second and three. Purdy throws the out loud and completes it to Samuel. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. Seven yards there and a first down. Let's go. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Got a man. That's IU. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. When you see zone defense and you know you got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. He's going to look deep down the field. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Tariq Woolen picks it. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. A big play there by the rookie. An interception followed by the return for six points. If you want to be accepted by your teammates and coaching staff, make plays like that. And the kick here, no good. But a penalty flag is down. Looks like he got run into. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. The extra point now coming from Myers. It's up and good, and they're in control now. 35 to 7. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Final 24 seconds of the first half as they come up here first and 10. Fresh off that pick six, here's Purdy. And the Seahawks defense gets to him and they bring him down. Ochina Nuosu in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for... 